Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to do some flip throughs of some journals that I have um, completed. Um, all these journals are going to be um, getting listed on my Etsy. I will put a link below to my um, Etsy shop um, if you want to go over and take a peek. Um, I've just been making all these journals and just for the sake of making them and I'm really never going to use them all so someone out there may want one. I have actually showed a video of this one so I'm just going to do some really quick flips um, and I will be linking the videos, the video, this video to the um, Etsy listings. Right, getting the ruler around the right way. Um, <clears throat> this one is um, eight and a quarter by five and a half and the spine measures one and a half. There is three signatures, sorry about the lighting three signatures um, that's the back and that's the, the front um, there's somewhere to to write on here there's pockets there's um, tea dyed paper so there's plenty of places to journal and add photos this is just a little booklet um, some pa a paper clip with some seam binding And there will be more details on the actual Etsy listing, like how many pages, etc. Just making sure this is in focus. Got some lace going on here. So, like I said, the, you know, these, the, bleh, I can't even speak. <laughs> um, there'll be more details on. Um, the actual listing for each one, like how many pages, etc. I've used some wax linen thread um, to bind this journal, and that is that one. Uh, this one here um, is an Alice in Wonderland themed one. And inside, it's it's not as detailed as the other one. Um, it's exactly the same size, which is eight and a quarter by five and a half. Did I say five and a half? Yep. Yeah. With a one and a half inch spine, there are four signatures in here, and just on the front of each signature, front and back, there is some um, <coughs> some imaged paper. So you've got all this. Oops. So there's lots of tea dyed paper. So it's like that. Four signatures. And with that you will get the um I'll just pop that to the side. Tags which I've inked up and Added some seam binding. I oh, hope you can see that. So this would be a great little starter journal. So that is that. I'll just move this one out of the way. Um, this one here. Um, I have done a video of this on its own, but I will just do a quick flip again. There's more or less something on each page. It's just a tab or a stamp or a pocket. Um, there's lots of tabs, the seam binding. Doilies. Um, there will be more pictures on the listing. There's quite a lot of pages in this. I believe there's like 48 pages, so that's like 96 sides to add to. Plus all the tags and journaling spots. And that's a little pocket. And that is... That's that. I believe this measures uh, four and a half by just over six and a quarter 
with a uh, one and three quarter inch spine. It's got the um, easy binding, but e each signature is actually, um, I ran it through the sewing machine, so no I didn't. I uh, used wax linen thread on each one, so the signatures are actually all together. This one here, um, again, it's roughly, what is it, it's four and a quarter by six and a quarter with a one and a half inch spine. Um, I've kept that there, so I was actually going to add some beads onto that, but um, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it so whoever has it can decide whether they want to keep it or not. Um, it just says journal. And I'll do a quick flip. Pockets. Have done a video on this because this was the one that I um, um, used my sewing machine on. So there's a lot of um, sewing work in here. Um, little pockets. I'm not going to say too much. You know, the potential for this being a really thick journal is there. Um, there's tags inside here. That's a pocket there. Oh, doesn't want to close. Oh, that's a pocket. And there we have it. So there's that one. I've also made, I just need to stretch over and get these, right, I've also made these two, upside down journals, these two journals here, they are both just filled with um, coffee dyed or tea dyed paper, I can't remember which one, they are both um, eight and a quarter by five and a half. Um, with a one and a half inch spine, four signatures. Um, it's roughly, I think there's 80, 80, wait, hang on, that's 5, 10, 20, 40, 80 pages in here. Um, love the noise. Um, so yeah, there's that one, this one is exactly the same. But what you get with these is, I filled up, like a Paris journal, this one I've done like a little um, ephemera package with it. So I've filled it with lots of bits from my stash. You have got 10 uh, punched out tabs that you can, I've got a spare one up here, that you can just fold over, glue it, and add it to your book pages. So there's 10 of them. I've done some stamping. It's 10 things I love, or 10 things, yeah, 10 things I love. Date to remember, there's two of them. Uh, I've done some little calendar stamps, so you can circle and write the month on them. Um, I've added two envelopes. I've added three of the little um, pockets, um, envelope pockets. Um, a little ephemera piece. Let's turn this around the right way. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> some more. Let me see if I can get this in frame a little bit better. Some more bits. Uh, some tags that I've stamped and inked up. These are all uh, coffee dyed. I've got some nice staining on the back. Some stamped sentiments and some images. And these are a little bit larger and then just some pieces <clears throat> that I have um, that you can add to your journal just, you can ink these up or cut them up or turn them into whatever you like um, some little tags here And that, and also you will get ten paper clips. 
Um, <clears throat> so, and the other one is very much the same. The ephemera pieces might be slightly different, but please look on the listing because um, the full pictures will be there. Just missed that. And I've got two other little journals that I'm going to quickly show you um, that I'm going to be adding to. So if I don't get rid of these, I'm not going to be able to make any more because I've got no room to store them. So yeah, you'll get, <clears throat> um, there's, you know, I just wrote on there just now, but I will put that in a better envelope. Um, so that's the, um, the ephemera kit to go with that one. And there's another one to go with this one here. Um, so they'll be great little starter kits. Right. Um, I have also done videos of these before as well. Um, so I'll just do a quick flip. Um, so these are going to be up for grabs too. Lots going on. Paper, uh, coffee dyed paper, stamping, um, cutouts. Um, this is more like a kind of day book type thing. Um, again, the potential of this turning into a great big fat journal is there. There's two signatures. Lots of journaling cards, the witties. This has all been more podged as well. And uh, the other one here is the Good Times. Again, another quick flip through. There's lots of tuck spots, tags, stamping. Little flip pages, there's an envelope so you can tuck something in there as well. <clears throat> Some stamping, pockets, there's a whole mixture of stuff in here. It's got some lace going on, crocheted lace there. Bird stamp, little flip, postcard. Coloured the camera in. It's got some stickles. I'm not sure if you can see. So there we go, another little. This actually flips up and you can put stuff in there. It's opened at the side and you can just pop that straight back under there. These are just some little booklets that I've made. And that's us nearly at the end. So there we go. So that's that. So in total there'll be two, four, six, eight journals on Etsy. Um, and I will just link this video to all of them. I'm not probably you'll have to watch all the video to see which journal <laughs> um but i didn't want to do uh you know a single video for each one um i haven't got the time to sit and upload it um so yeah um the link will be below if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye